So I believe if you came to this valley what, 70, 80 years ago, that it would almost be some sort of uh, like a, um, images you see of the moon, this moonscape like landscape that with no trees, because the trees were used underground um, as pit props. Um, so all the forestry was cut down. Since the collieries have closed, it is almost, it's been reclaimed. You know, new forestries have been, um, have been planted. I believe if you were taken away from the Avon Valley 70 years ago and brought back in the present day, you probably wouldn't recognize large swathes. It's also hard to imagine where some of the collieries were because they, all, all remnants of them have disappeared. Since they shut, I could, I could go to my stair when they were open and talk to anybody. Now I can go, even in the street, only in the neighbour, there are a couple of neighbours there, I don't even know who's living at the end of this street. And there's uh, another street then, there's a bit of a road between I don't know who's living down there. But before, you know everybody. Never mind who they are. And it was my stake, and they come on, oh, great, no, nice, I was going, yeah, marvellous. And working, hi, yeah, tomorrow morning, in the morning, yeah. <laughs> but now we don't know nobody. It's, it's the awareness of living that I miss most with the miners. Up here there was uh, something like 3,000 jobs up, up here, only in the, in the colonies. Because it was always about a thousand in that. In Dufferin it was always well over a thousand in Dufferin. And Avon then you had uh, a good few men there. And you had North London there, there were men there. Because it was four pits up there, not three. It was two, three pits and, and a, um, a lever. So no, it was plenty of work, plenty of work, yeah. And of course we had a, the, you had a steel cup there, so you had people going there. When you look at the population of the valley, I would say there would be anywhere between three to five thousand people living in Narbor and Blangwyn V. Now there's, we're lucky to have five thousand people living in the top end of the Arban Valley. Most of the people now, since the mines have closed, have all gone and lived somewhere else. Like. And so much the, the population has changed in the valley itself. As a boy you worked in and people knew your father and your family and things and, you know, it's, when you were out, there was it, as it is today now, there is no sort of community spirit as there used to be years ago. There's no forestry here now because it was, the forestry was built by the, the prisoners in the prisons on, I'd say around what, the 50s, they started, started doing it. So there's a lot more forestry here, but uh, the rivers are cleaner, obviously because of the mines are not here and the tips have gone and there's only a few tips left which are, are of interest at the moment and they, they're up indifferent. It's like a, a rabbit hole. There's, there's, there, 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 there's so many holes in this valley, it's almost, almost countless, mainly because you also have private mines as well. Um, they, uh, some of them go back, you know, 200 years. So chronicling them is quite a difficult task to do, but there's definitely been, I'd say, definitely over 100 collieries in this valley when you account for things like drift mines. Deep shaft collieries, there was probably about 10, 15, 20 perhaps. And th those are the ones you think of when you think of traditional colliery images. You think of men going underground through the pit head gear and you think of them going underground in the cages. Those are the traditional ones. But there's also heck of a lot of drift mines in this valley as well. It's not looking as much like Switzerland as it used to, but uh, it's made a big difference. And you've seen big differences. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about, uh, you know, the, the populace of, of the valley because it's most likely older people now. The youngsters got to go looking for jobs and they'll go Bergen, Port Talbot, you know, Nice, Swansea, Cardiff, some of them, sadly. But we need the youngsters in our village as well.